there it is. There he is. What is up, man? Welcome back to the vlog in traffic, y'all. It's Weston Smith. We've got an action packed day. It is looking beautiful outside. Dallas, Texas, I mean, it is probably 90 something degrees, but it is overcast. It is 90 degrees, in fact. Overcast and potential storms coming in later, and we're thinking with this little front, let me fix that camera, that there might be a good bite with the bass today. So, here's what's on the agenda. I'm headed right now to Bass Pro Shops in Grapevine. I'm meeting up with my buddy Pond Boys. You guys know him, you've seen him in a lot of videos. Go ahead and check him out down in the description. We are gonna try and slay some bass today. He's picking up a new reel. I'm purchasing a new rod specifically for swim baits, big baits. We'll talk more about that here in just a second. And we got the boat right behind us, man. We're hauling the hot tamale to get its first ever service. So we got a lot of stuff going down today. And uh, we're throwing only big baits, by the way. I'm not, I'm not messing around. I'm only throwing some brand new glide baits that you've never seen on the channel. And I'm just going to throw these things all day until sunset. I mean, it's like 12 noon right now. Me and T, we're going to be out all day. And there's a good chance of can't, of can't, there's a good chance we going to can't. There's a good chance we're going to catch a big fish on these big baits. Actually, there's a good chance I'll catch a small fish on these big baits because that's always what tends to happen with me. Anyways, I feel like this intro is now just taking a while. We're gonna go ahead and get into the festivities. Let's go. Just rolled up to Bass Pro, man. Torrance is on the way, but I have got to go ahead and take this reel off of here. I'm gonna be throwing on the SLX XT for today only onto the new swim bait rod. This is a Powell Endurance right here. It's only rated for baits up to one ounce. What we're gonna be throwing today is like two and a half to three ounces. So this is where you wanna get a swim bait specific rod, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in today's video. But uh, yeah, SLX XT for today. Tomorrow we have a brand new reel coming that's all I'm gonna say man straight from Amazon it is just for the swim bait stuff it's gonna go on the swim bait rod and I think you guys are really gonna love it so subscribe and hit notifications if you haven't already that way you see these videos I'm gonna go ahead and get inside wait for Torrance and then we're gonna get this rod he's gonna grab a new reel like I said and we're gonna get into the rest of today's activities Alright man, we just got out of Bass Pro Shops. The most expensive rod I have ever bought, guys. This thing was like 175 bucks. This is the St. Croix Mojo Bass Swim Bait and A Rig rod, guys. 710, heavy. I mean, this thing is uh, one to four ounce baits, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check now, because I know y'all gonna criticize in the comments. 710, heavy power, fast action. SC123, graphite, one piece technology. 14 to 30 pound line, one to four ounce Baits, man. Let's go ahead and get to the ponds. Actually, we gotta drop the boat off. We still gotta go get this thing serviced. We got out of the whole agenda. Let's go. Dropping her off. Uh, expect to see more boat content in the next week, week and a half. That's about how long it's gonna take to get this thing finished up. Everywhere is so busy with COVID, man. We even called, I think, uh, is it Bass Pro? Nah, that's where we just shopped at. We even called Cabela's, <laughs> authorized ranger dealer. It was gonna take like two weeks over there, but of course, we love the guys over here at Fun and Sun. We want to give them our business. Let's go ahead now and get to fishing, man. You waited this long. Let's go spool this thing up. Baby, we have made it to the sickest urban pond spot in the Metroplex, y'all. We are just outside DFW, uh, or inside, I guess. And I'm gonna try and take this thing apart. We gotta get to fishing. Mojo Bass, SLX XT, temporary, till tomorrow. We got the new reel coming in. Dedicated swim bait setup right here. This thing is so expensive. Ooh. Get what you pay for, man. This rod, though, the quality on this thing is just off the charts. I can't wait to really put it to the test. We bought one of these rods before for Devin, but that's really her setup, so. Torrance is rigging up, too. He's got himself a three-piece travel rod. Check this thing out, dude. And then he's got, uh, what else? What are you throwing? Yozuri crank. I've been digging the Yozuri stuff. I've been getting the MTBs. Yeah. yeah. I have a video coming out on that, bro. Oh, my gosh. That pencil bait? Are you bro. talking about the one, that the little popper top water? Wow, the walk and you know how the, the sound, but I have like the, um, what's that color? The bone color one. Like a, like a, a, a white, but like a dull white? Yeah. That's that going to be off the chain. Man. Let me showcase what we got in the bag today, y'all, as far as baits. We're going to be throwing the brand new to us, 13 Fishing Glidesdale 185, man. This color is called Rusty Brim. Definitely should get some followers up to the bank. I'm curious to see what kind of big fish it draws in as well as some working class zero citizens. I brought these to creep along down low in case they are feeling the soft plastic bottom bite. We have one more Glidesdale 185 in this crazy gold color. Honestly, I might throw this first just to see what happens, man. I'm quite curious if anything will bite this in these small ponds. I mean, this is a big bait, 2.5 ounce, six and a half inch maybe. Realistic tail, 2.5 ounce sinking, 
3 DIs, high definition paint finishes. But how long is it? 6.23 inches, guys. And then also, we have a pretty realistic glide right here. This is actually the Molix Glidebait 178 SS, which I believe is slow sync. We're just gonna mess around. Today's all about having fun, man. I don't even care if I get a bite today. We're just enjoying ourselves out here. If I catch a bass on this, I'll be shocked. Will a bass eat this? I don't know. Palomar knot, 17 pound fluorocarbon. I done messed that up. Weston, why is there no line on your reels? Well, because I have to retie my knots five times. Is this real life? Yeah, I got bait problems. That's the human in me. I don't know how we haven't gotten kicked out of here already. It, it says it's closed, but is it really closed? We about to yoink them. New favorite combo, who does? What do y'all think? Should I do it? Hello? Hi, sir. Am I speaking to Weston? <laughs> he said, who am I speaking to? Okay, big baits and rig, man. Let's go ahead and get out here. Excited. Look at Goldie Lock. She be looking fine. One to four ounces. This rod is going to be chunking this thing with ease. Speaking of, man, if you guys are going to try and throw this on your standard gear, I would highly not advise it. You won't get the same distance. You're not going to get those hook sets you need for those big hooks on the swim baits, oftentimes required. Uh, you're also going to, and probably first and foremost, really jeopardize your rods because the thing is, they're not made to be throwing these big baits right here. You'll snap your tips. I mean, it takes a lot of uh, power to really cast these big baits. So just something to think about. I mean, look at, this is a, this is a heavy, heavy duty rod and it's barely got a little bend in the tip. You really need a broomstick to cast these suckers. And I'm going to do just that right here, guys. First cast with old Goldilocks. Let's see what happens. This thing looks amazing. It's gonna take a big fish to hit this though. By the way, if you guys wanna pick this bait up, I've talked a lot about it, but you can actually get this thing for 14 bucks as a Carl's Club member. I think it's 20 bucks if you're paying full price on uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle. That is exactly where we picked this bait up. I'm just creeping this thing nice and slow. It is gonna be tough, but we are here for the challenge. All right, y'all, there we go. Getting some grass, that's how you know you're in the zone. Find the grass, find the bass. This rod is so sick, man. Just truly in a whole nother category. I mean, I love the, the handles like 19 or 19 and a half inches. So much extra power to hold onto that butt end right there. And I like that grip, right? So much casting power with this right here. The thing is so light for its rating and you get a lot of sensitivity out of it. I mean, this, this rod is next level. Hey, I think I just had a bite. Got a follower. Dude, had my first follower, like two and a half pounds. Yeah, that was dope, man. Oh my God, we just got hit. Did y'all see that? Wow, insane. I cannot believe I just got hit on this. <laughs> oh wow, okay, all right. Dude, that's insane. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're just, just messing around, dude. I got this rod today and I was like, I want to throw some I big baits he was, only. He was telling me about it. He was telling me about it. Did it? I mean, it was this big. Side of it. Oh, that was, he could have came out for it. I'm gonna try and hit this little waterfall thing. Here we go. They wanted to see the action. Finally got some clear water for you guys. Look at this. Ooh, baby. I'm gonna hit a nice little fast swim. Ooh, ooh, oh yeah, I'm liking that. Looks good. This would be a dope little catch, but I don't know if anything's gonna hit that. All right, y'all, it's been a solid hour, hour and a half. All right, y'all, it is game time. We are breaking out the pearl white citizen. This is where the rubber meets the road, y'all. Working class zero soft plastic swim bait. Uh, I think they got another drop of these coming out very soon. You can't really buy them. They're all sold out, but uh, you can sign up for the newsletter on the working class zero website and you'll get notified when they're going to drop and you have to buy them within minutes. Otherwise they sell out. So I'm going to be getting in line soon because we definitely want to get some more of these. All right, we have ventured into new territory. Let's see what is along this grass line, huh? Slow on the bite today, man. There's three of us at this popular spot and no one has got hit just yet. I mean, we're all throwing big baits, so that is to be uh, somewhat expected. We're looking for the lunkers. I think we're about to go try another body of water. Torrance with the first one of the day on the crankbait. All right, that's a good one. That's a good one. Woo! Dude, that's what I'm trying to get me on this right here. <laughs> uh, 
Dude, this one's looking so clear. All right, y'all, well, we were getting ready to head out. We didn't even realize we were down in that little punch bowl. But dude, look at this chop now. All of a sudden, Hurricane Laura has hit the Texas coast and we are feeling the uh, effects, I guess. I'm gonna break out Goldilocks one more time. I'm just thinking something with some good flash and all this chop, almost like a spinner bait. Torrent's on again with the crank. Number three, Torrent's got another one, man. He's cranking them. We're going down to the last resort for sunset, y'all, but it's still a heavy bait for this big old rod. So let's chunk it. That's the rising sun. It's very popular. I just don't ever. How many times have I retired today? About 10. How much line I got left? About none. All right, man, we're traveling light. Let's go get them. Yeah, so switching it up to this more natural presentation just because uh, so far, those bright colors haven't pulled us in anything. Just trying to throw something new for you guys. And also we got this underspin though. That's gonna make it pop almost like a spinner bait with the wind. Spinner baits are obviously very common when it's windy for that extra flash with the chop. Get their attention, man. I should be getting some reaction bites. I should get a little something one of these casts before sunset. a couple pounder i'll take it i don't care if it's a one or two swim bait fish boy there we are all right whoa hey 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 easy easy yeah oh my look at me you go <laughs> he said fish that corner then <laughs> i felt that tick i said wait is that what i thought it was so i reeled down reeled down <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> Dang, fishing swim baits all day pays off. What a subtle bite, guys. He absolutely inhaled that bait, and I felt only a tick, the slightest tick, like I was cutting through grass. And then I was like, now wait a second. I reeled down on it, felt the weight, set the hook, and boom. All right, man, let's get a little fishy back to his home. What a night. Swim baits, oh, wow. New rod, dude, first one on the new rod. Why am I even talking about swim baits? That's the first one on the new mojo bass. First one on the swim bait rod. And it's a nice, healthy one, too. All right, then, son. I know you're just fighting a second ago. Get on out there. Give us a little flip. Give us a flip. Oh, that's how you end the night. We're going to use a little minute to get him back together, but 316, one fish. That's how we do it. Dudes, Whew. we got it done right at sunset. It took us uh, downsizing a couple times to the 316. We had the little underspin. It's actually an owner flashy swimmer yeah, hook. I think a six aught. And uh, on the brand new rod we just got from Bass Pro Shops today, baby. Yeah, get you some of that. You saucy, need... bro. Mojo Bass swim bait rod. Yeah, I had one of these in a medium heavy. It was one of my first rods. Honestly, one of my first most expensive rods. And I got ended up getting struck by lightning. And I had to toss the rod in the water. So I lost it. Honestly, the looks too. I mean, 10 out of 10 on the look. So St. Croix Mojo Bass rods, you guys. If you haven't ever seen one, go ahead and uh, take a look. I'll leave it down in the description for you guys. Had a blast out here with Pond Boys. He put me to shame catching a bunch on the crank mm -hmm. while I was trying to work them big glide baits. But we had to put them to rest and go with the old 316 to get the job done right at sunset, man. Had a ton of fun. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. <gasps>